Hi, I'm Nate Adams, and this is the cover of the Insulation Types chapter from my book, which you can download for free right below here. So I wrote this because I am sick and tired of watching my clients and people everywhere wasting thousands of dollars on insulation only to find out that it doesn't work. And that leaves you with two options. You can either pull the insulation out at great expense, or you can live with the mediocrity and deal with the fact that your second floor is still way too hot, uh, or your bedroom is too cold, uh, whatever the, the problem might be that you're trying to solve. If you don't do this right, and you aren't really careful about choosing what kinds of insulation you're going to use and doing a really good job air sealing, uh, the odds of you failing are nearly 100%. So everyone in those pictures was tempted by the simple but wrong path. So let's spend a little bit of money and hope for a miracle and then nothing shows up and the only thing that you've accomplished is wasting time and money. The complex but correct path is the way to go. Um, it takes longer but you get the result that you want the first time. Uh, as I've heard people say, there's two ways to do everything, right and again. Uh, don't do it again, please. Uh, take some time and read. In fact, this chapter is a great thing to start with. So there are three measures of insulation that I really care about. It's not our value. It's definitely not greenness, which will frustrate and anger a lot of people. Uh, but if it's green and it doesn't work, who cares? It doesn't matter. The number one thing that I want to see out of insulation is effectiveness, and I want you to be able to prove it to me. I'd like to see temperature readings in your house. I want to see energy bills. I want to see the blower door leakage numbers. How much does the house leak? If it is not effective, it does not matter. Also, it needs to be easy to install well. If it requires the installer to be perfect in everything that he does, and it assumes that he's not thinking about the beer after work or the divorce that he's in the middle of, uh, that's asking for trouble. It needs to be easy to install well, or the odds of failure are, again, too high. And lastly, uh, I really like to use materials that you can get easily. If it's not available in a big box, we might want to consider something else because you can spend so much time and energy trying to source an unusual material that you run out of energy to actually get that result, to get that effectiveness. So this is a, a spread from the chapter on fiberglass and every insulation type gets ranked on several factors. So you'll see air sealing capability. This reigns over all. It, if I say it once, I will say it 10,000 times. If you do not air seal your house, you will fail to solve whatever you are trying to solve. You just will. Um, it's frustrating. I've done it many times. This is from experience. So every type is ranked on air sealing capability. It's also ranked on uh, how well you can do it yourself and how easy it is to get yourself. And also on con contractor results and availability and then the last thing that I rank things on is healthiness at and after install, because they can be different. Spray foam, for example, you do not want to be around that as it's installed. It's not healthy. Um, but once it has cured, it has very few problems. Uh, in fact, using indoor air quality monitors, it doesn't even pick anything up from it. Uh, if you ventilate well within a day, if you don't ventilate well within about a week, uh, the readings fall off a cliff. So all of that information is available for free if you download below. And if you like this video, if you like this channel, please subscribe, like the video, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Nate Adams. 